installed, so let's move on to part two. So what's next? We've got our buckets in, we've got everything ready to run. So I'm sitting down. <laughs> got our Master Blend nutrient pack. So we've got Master Blend calcium nitrate and the magnesium sulfate. We've got two teaspoons, two teaspoons, and one teaspoon in every five gallons of water. We are using the 27 gallon totes. So next we want to put nutrient into our reservoir. It's actually going to be 10 teaspoons for 25 gallons of the master blend and the calcium nitrate and 5 teaspoons of the magnesium sulfate. And I like to use this because I can just really shake it up, get it into as much liquid as possible. Then you just dump it into your tank, fill it up with water, and that is all there's to it. Okay, once we have the reservoir full, nutrients in, put the top back on. And what I like to do, I like to run it for a couple of days, let the nutrient get into the perlite. Um, you could do that at, at the same time as you're planting your seeds too, it's fine. But anyway, let it run a few days, and then after that, then I'll put it on a timer. And this one I've got set right now um, four times at a half an hour piece in a 24 hour time period. Okay, many of the larger seeds like beans, we just sow directly into the buckets. I just place them on top, I'll push down about an inch, push that in, pat it down. You can put two or three beans in each of these buckets and I leave the water on for a few days. You can water from the top a little bit. It helps with the uh, germination a little quicker. Okay, we have one just coming out now. There's one up here. Again, this is just about four or five days and they're up. It took oh, a little less than 60 days to have our first good crop of green beans. Now, cucumber seeds are a little bit smaller and you really only want one cucumber in each bucket. I just center it and I put it down in the middle, down an inch to half an inch. And you see we've tied some paracord up so it can go on up. You can see there's still some old cucumber tendrils right here and uh, we had to take this one down. It had about 50 cucumbers on. They just get tired and worn out. So planting another one. That was only four and a half months ago. After the cucumbers come up, they grow pretty quickly. Uh, you got to keep them picked though. We missed this one, but you know what? It still tastes really, really good. Tomato plants can be seeded direct as well, but sometimes it's just easier to do them um, on a heat mat. It controls the heat better. Um, they're a little harder to germinate. Of course, when you're growing just in the 1020, just plant this whole just directly right into the buckets. You're fine. Okay, when we're taking the tomato plants or pepper plants out, just take your hand under here. You don't have to be that careful. It all comes out real easy. There you go, nice root. When we transplant to the buckets, let's dig down a little bit. There's many ways to grow tomatoes. So you can buy the plants if you're impatient like me and like everybody else. Um, these were all from seed. They grow quickly, but I think we planted too many. I guess we'll be giving them a lot of them away or just probably sell some organic tomatoes. Nothing wrong with that. Now these plants are all about two and a half months old now. Growing well. Now these pepper plants we grew from seed, but if you're impatient like most, I and myself, you can buy plants. It's okay. Just make sure they're washed off. Make sure you're not bringing anything into your greenhouse or even if it's outside, you don't need any extra pests around. You can plant just about anything. We just showed you a few examples here. Um, in the next videos, we'll be going over the germination processes, the different seeds and the different kinds of plants, what times of year. But with this, everything can grow pretty much year round. Don't forget to subscribe. There's a lot more coming. 
Here at Greenhouse Solutions and Growing Systems, we like to keep it simple, keep it sustainable, keep it affordable, and most of all, keep it real. So, see you next time.